Eastern PA Weather Authority meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for October 4th, 2017. For the middle of the week, we're going to have another day of uh, sunshine and uh, warmer temperatures than we've had for the past couple of days, with the temperatures going up about another 3 to 5 degrees from what they were yesterday, and that's going to be uh, in part because of a southwesterly uh, wind flow created ahead of this next cold front. So we'll have winds coming out of the southwest, temperatures, uh, again, just add about 3 to 5 degrees from what you saw on Tuesday to what you will see on Wednesday. Uh, this is a southwesterly flow that's uh, ahead of this cold front that's uh, beginning to move to the south and east, and uh, that is going to allow for these uh, uh, temperatures to spike a little bit today. So we're going to move a little bit forward from this point to show you what this cold front does. doesn't do much. As a matter of fact, most of it falls apart. Most of the precipitation involved with it falls apart, but it will be draped over our region on Thursday. So I don't think you're going to see... Uh, plenty, uh, plentiful sunshine, even though you probably don't see any, any precipitation during the day. We're going to call it partly to mostly cloudy as that front is going to continue to sag to the south, uh, but it's going to uh, be draped right over top of the region, so partly to mostly cloudy skies are going to result, even though you're not seeing precipitation. And then we get into the overnight and into Friday morning, you start seeing that front uh, can become visible again because you have a piece of energy that's going to ride along that and uh, you're going to have uh, some some light showers that are going to be possible here during the day on Friday. Again, the front is going to be draped right over the region, so you're going to have the opportunity for the clouds and a few showers to pop up on Friday. Uh, once we get later in the day, it's the threat diminishes, and then once we get to Saturday, that front is going to be pushed off to the north as a warm front in association with this area of low pressure moving into the Great Lakes. So this is going to drag this up as a warm front up to the north, and it's going to be north of the region. So we're expecting maybe some morning clouds on Saturday, but that should be giving way to sun in the afternoon. It's going to be a very warm day again. Again, uh, when you're in this situation where you have a cold front out here, uh, warm front here, you're all warm. You're very you're warm sectored in this area. So this uh, means that you're going to have a surge of warmth. Coming back into the picture, uh, because the clouds early on, you might not get as as high as you would have if it didn't, but uh, probably still going to reach uh, 80 degrees or above in some areas, uh, here, especially down here towards the Philadelphia metro and our southern sections on Saturday. So a uh, very warm day again on Saturday. Uh, going forward from this point, Sunday, uh, another one of these fronts are going to come through. This is the trailing cold front that's sitting back here like this. Uh, but you're going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies to deal with again on Sunday. Here's uh, Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. Uh, again, it's 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 going to be a, uh, some times of, of clouds and sun, but probably more clouds than sun, uh, and not and not much of anything in the way of precipitation except for a stray shower. Once we get to Monday, though, things are going to change. See this area of precipitation down south here is going to move off to the north and give us an opportunity. Uh, at least for some rain here on Monday. Here you can see those showers moving in, and then another trailing parent system that this is all pushing ahead of will come through, it looks like, on Tuesday. Now, the chances of this happening are good, but they're not, it's not locked down 100% that this is going to hit in this, in this manner. So we're going to allow for periods of rain uh, both Monday and Tuesday, uh, but with the evolution of this system will be very difficult to nail down at this range. We're talking about going almost a week from now and that could be moving uh, too far to the east or west or a bunch of different things might not materialize as advertised at all so there is the opportunity for some appreciable rainfall which we really desperately need we haven't had some uh, good rainfall in quite some time but there is an opportunity early next week but i just don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves expecting a soaking rainfall and then it doesn't occur okay because then, then i'll tell you why this is more difficult the origin of this system is tropical in nature. This is actually uh, projected by some models to become tropical storm and even hurricane Nate in the Gulf of Mexico. This is the part of uh, climatologically the part of the world that we start paying attention to now for tropical development down here in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. Less of an effect off of Africa, off the coast of Africa like we were dealing with last month and the month before. Now we're talking about uh, this area climatologically. Uh, being the best area to spin up a tropical system. And this does, in fact, uh, suggest that there will be a tropical... This actually says a hurricane in this particular model making landfall here in the, on the northern Gulf Coast. And you can see this precipitation is running out ahead of it. Here's the main system making landfall, I guess, near Pensacola or Panama City Beach. Well, I'm not really... 
think it's Panama City Beach, somewhere in there. Uh, but uh, this is all running in advance of that, like a monsoonal flow out ahead of it, uh, heading toward our region. So that when I show you those other images, the rain coming through Monday, that's this. This is Tuesday, which is the trailing system. Of course, once it got up to our latitude, uh, it would not be a, a tropical system anymore. It would just be remnant rainfall and a potential for heavy rainfall. But again, that's just potential. There's a lot of things that can go wrong with this type of thing and whether this even develops into what it says is going to remains to be seen probably a good chance it does but again track it after after it makes landfall could go a bunch of different ways so we'll just wait and see uh how that works out but there is at least is there an opportunity early next week monday tuesday time frame for appreciable rainfall and uh, we'll just keep monitoring that and see how this develops if it develops and to what extent and what position that's what we're working on over the next couple of days. I'm Eastern PA with a 30 meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for October 4th, 2017. Have a great Wednesday.